To use a ReadyPort single-use product, first select the appropriate mask size for the patient. The ReadyPort elbow is compatible with several masks. Before you place the mask on a patient, remove the standard elbow. Here, we're removing the existing standard elbow from a Philips AF531 mask by holding the faceplate hub and gently pulling and twisting. Now the ReadyPort 531 elbow can be attached by pressing into the mask with a slight twist while holding the faceplate hub. The ReadyPort 541 elbow is compatible with the Philips 541 mask. Here we're removing the existing standard elbow by squeezing the push tabs to release the elbow from the mask. Now the ReadyPort 541 elbow can be attached by squeezing the push tabs, inserting the elbow into the mask and releasing the push tabs to secure the elbow on the mask. The NIV maintenance kit provides the tools needed to provide best practice oral hygiene for patients, whether it's to moisturize with gel or water or to clean with the ReadyPort toothbrush and suction swab. Open the ReadyPort NIV maintenance kit by removing the cover. To use the yank hour, connect it and the suction tubing to the suction handle and keep it at the patient's bedside. If needed, use the included Y connector to split the suction tubing in order to allow both oral care and closed suctioning. To use the yank hour with the ReadyPort elbow, stabilize the mask with one hand and push the protective guard into the ReadyPort elbow with your thumb and forefinger. Gently slide the yank hour into the elbow through the mask and into the patient's mouth using gentle pressure. Apply suction by toggling the on-off slider on the handle. Remove the yank hour by gently pulling the handle until the suction tip is fully recessed into the protective guard. Then continue to pull on the handle to slide the guard out of the elbow. To use the suction swab or toothbrush, connect the oral care appliance to the suction tubing. Moisten the sponge or brush by retracting the protective guard and dipping them into the appropriate oral solution. Retract the moistened tip into the protective guard to cover it. While stabilizing the mask with one hand, push the protective guard into the ready port elbow with the thumb and forefinger of your other hand. Gently advance the appliance into the mouth and perform oral cleaning. Suction excess fluid by placing a finger over the suction port. When finished, remove the appliance by gently pulling on the stick to retract the sponge or toothbrush into the protective guard and continue pulling until the appliance slides out of the elbow. Locate the applicator swab, included in both the suction swab pack and the suction toothbrush pack. This will be used to moisten the patient's mouth with ice water or mouth moisturizer gel. Apply ice water or mouth moisturizer to the sponge by retracting the protective guard and dipping the sponge into ice water or applying moisturizer to the outside of the swab. Ensure the moisturizer gel does not get on the outside of the protective guard. Apply water or mouth moisturizer to the mouth and lips as needed. When finished, dispose of the oral contaminated devices as per your facility's protocols. The controller of the ReadyPort microphone comes with a power supply. It does not use batteries, so there is no need to worry about charging. Guide the ReadyPort microphone through the ReadyPort elbow with the magnetic connector facing downward. Attach the magnetic side of the ReadyPort cable to the magnetic connector. The connector will only attach one way. If it is not connecting, simply switch its orientation. When you press the power button on the ready port controller, the green LED will illuminate. Adjust the voice level utilizing the up and down buttons on the controller until the patient's voice can be easily understood. Yeah, can you hear me now? I can, yes. Good, I'm really, really uncomfortable. I really need some pain medicine. Can Absolutely. you get that for me? I will get them some for you. Thank you. When the patient is finished talking, turn off the ready port controller and unplug the connector side of the cable from the microphone. After the cable is unplugged, remove the microphone from the elbow and place it somewhere safe from contamination. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about ReadyPort non-invasive ventilation products.